Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be practicing some hip opening poses and movements. So let's go ahead and begin standing and take a deep breath. Take the hands on the hips and roll out the hips. This is a great little dynamic stretch for loosening up the lower back and the hips. And we're going to do it both directions. Breathe deep and be steady. Very good. Now bring the feet together and stand as tall as you can. If you can keep the ankles together, we're going to do a raised standing where we lift the heels. It is okay if balance struggles to have the feet wider, but if you can keep the ankles together, we're going to lift the arms and lift the heels drawn to the core and then relax the heels, relax the arms. <clears throat> Very good, let's do that one more time. Building some strength. Ankles together, that's keeping the inner calves strengthening as well as the outer legs. And release. Third time's the charm, arms up. Ankles together, lift the heels, deep breath. And heels down, arms down. Very good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, downward dog. And kneel down, lengthen the spine, and then extend the right leg and just lift hip level. Roll your ankle a couple times and do both directions. Switch to the other leg, roll out the ankle, and do both directions. Knees down. Tuck under the toes, push back into the leg, downward dog. And then working on the slow step, round your back, lift up the right knee, tent the fingers perhaps, and step up to a high lunge. Lengthen out the spine and lift the chest. And step back with the right foot. Left side. Round the back, lift the knee high, use the core, step without rushing, maybe crawl the foot up a little bit, and have your knee above the ankle, raise your arms, lunge. Glide back, downward dog. We're gonna do that one more time each side. If your foot gets stuck halfway, you can just carry it with the hand or crawl it forward like an earthworm. Using the tented finger technique, and really rounding the back can help a lot. Step up, right foot. Slow motion movements, build the core. Lie back, downward dog. Left side, rounding the back. Left foot steps up, raise runner. And exhale, downward dog. Knees down, lengthen the spine, extend through the right leg and lift just hip level. So do the left arm. And release, other side. Extend, lift, opposite arm, and release. Now we're gonna take the right foot forward and have the runner's lunge and either stay like this, or you can lift a little bit more and have your arms draped over your leg. And then we're going to release back to child's pose. From child's pose, let's come on up to sitting or kneeling, and then take a big step up with the left foot. Left foot up, knee in line with the ankle, hips releasing low. You can do fingertips tented or lift and drape the arms over the front thigh. Deep breath. 
smooth exhale. See the hips squaring. They tend to kind of spill to one side, but you want them even. You know, front and back, they won't be perfectly even, but just side to side. Don't let them swing off to the side and move the stretch out of the muscles. Get deep into the hip flexor group and breathe. Next is child's pose. Let's start child with the knees wide. Sink into it. Breathe into it. And have a smooth, smooth exhale. back to hands and knees, exhale downward dog. Right foot steps up, crescent lunge, come on up and stretch. It can be a shorter or longer stance as you like. Otherwise, deep breath here, building the core. Very good, hands down, back knee down. Now let's lift and hold the knee, bring the arm up and then stretch over to the right. So it's left arm up, stretching over to the right, that helps to isolate and get deeper into the hip flexor. If it's too much, you can do any of the previous variations of runner that you like. Very good, come on down. Take a twist, right hand on the knee, twist to the right. Excellent, come back to center. Let's go ahead and glide back, downward dog. Left foot steps up, crescent lunge. Low motion step to build the core. When you're here, you can choose a shorter or longer crescent, whatever suits your joints. You want to focus on the joints feeling comfortable first. If your knee and your sacrum is really hurting, you're doing something wrong, <clears throat> or you're injured and you should maybe not practice. If your muscles are feeling intensity but the joints feel stable, that's a good thing. Deep breath. In the crescent for maybe one or two more long breaths. Hands down, back knee down. Take a moment to adapt, lift on up, and then the right arm comes up and we'll stretch. So we're getting a little bit of a side bend here, releasing deeper into the psoas and hip flexors, breathing. Come on down, then take the hand on the knee and twist. Excellent. Let's go ahead and release from that. Next, we're going to switch to laying down on the back. Lay down on the back, hug the knees into the chest, and the next pose will be a cradle stretch. So you put the left foot on the ground, right ankle to left thigh, work the right knee away from the body, and just press on the, the thigh and flex the right foot. 
If this is a stretch and or your hips are tender, you could just stay here. Otherwise, you're gonna bring that back leg in more, both the hamstring or the shin. Try and keep the neck long. You might need a cushion under the neck. and release other side so you can start like we did before where you just have the hand of the thigh pressing otherwise hold the hamstring or the shin keep the neck long don't let the left ankle twist keep it flexed a little bit maybe the foot and breathe Good. Release of the stretch. Take knees to chest and then rock up and adjust into a straddle pose next. Make the legs wide a little bit and then widen them more as you see fit. And stretch side to side. Keep the chest open. You don't, you're not trying to reach down so much that you are collapsing. You keep the chest open. Just reach over as much as you can stay clear with that. And when you've done both sides effectively, we're going to stretch down the middle. If you're a little bit less flexible, then that's totally fine. Just use your fingertips and just reach a little bit. And then some students will reach slowly more and more and more. With a sense of rolling the feet and the kneecaps back and then lengthening through the chest. Release the forward bend, have the legs a little bit closer together and roll the femurs. Get those to loosen up, keep sitting tall. So we're going to sit cross-legged. You may want to sit on a blanket or cushion, sitting bones back, arrange the arms in a relaxed fashion, have a tall chest. We're going to conclude with a little bit of quiet time. So let's close the eyes. Let's just have the eyes closed for about five to seven breaths.
come back to the body, come back to deep breath. We're going to conclude practicing with a clearing breath and one ohm. So breathe in, open mouth, exhale. Very good. Then inhale for ohm. Hey, thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video and you want to check out my premium membership, check out the link in the description below. And it also helps if you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Ciao.